Hey guys, Ethan and I picked up some G-Case Hot Wheels over the weekend, so we're going to unbox them for you. I think we got about 10 or 11 different ones. Uh, we got lucky and walked up on a fresh case. I didn't have my phone with me or I would have done an in-store video for you because uh, we actually found the new Boulevard cars too with the Bree uh, B120, Dotson Sunny, and we actually sold them though before we could unbox them. So unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to unbox this stuff for you guys, maybe next time. Um, but yeah, the videos have not be uh, have become not so important to me right now because we have so much other things going on. So instead of leaving those cars sit around for a while, if somebody else can enjoy them, I just pass them along to them. But Ethan gets to keep the mainline stuff, so that's why we're going to unbox these for you today. So as I said, these are G-Case cars. We did not get the Super, unfortunately, but it was a fresh case, and what I could tell. Uh, so say hi, Ethan. Hi. All right, so this is my favorite from the case. This is your pink 55 Chevy Gasser. Um, this is actually a really nice casting, the Triassic 5. Uh, we have the green one, and then we have this purple one. And then uh, we didn't get the RLC one, unfortunately. I wasn't a member when that was released. So this is a nice one, and we're going to get the car ripped out of the package for you by Ethan. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, we rip them all open. The card art on this is pretty cool. But anyways, second color of this release this year. So Ethan, let's get this ripped open, buddy. Here you go, rip him open. Uh-oh. Give me the car. All right. Had a little accident there. Oh. Well, we had another accident there. <laughs> so, anyways, these are getting played with, so it's expected to get nicks. So, anyways, nice tampos. No tail light tampos, but still yet not a bad casting. Like how they tinted the windows pink. It gives it that authentic, like, gasser appeal, because they did that a lot in the 60s, where they had tent the Lexon. The same color as the car, or something to correspond with the car. Uh, and then the old gasser, AG on the fender fuel injected and such and your sponsor msd holly a few other ones on the quarter panel so really cool casting one of my favorites from hot wheels in the recent years so there's that one now this guy here would have been the super but and actually the regular one doesn't look bad the uh Kefa Kefi Kefer Racer uh, Volkswagen looks pretty cool actually I like those wheels those wheels first appeared on the cool classics a few years back uh, now they're popping them on the mainline cars so that's kind of cool uh, they're making use of them and they are a nice looking wheel so this is a pretty cool looking car uh, Ethan let's get this guy ripped open and take a look at him here you go just trying to help you out a little bit you're welcome all right give me that car Thank you. All right, so here he is. And the color on this one, it's a nice, deep maroon color. It almost looks like a Spectre Flame-like color, uh, but it's not. The other one is a little bit more brilliant than this one. I think the Super, meaning the other one. So Jones Race Products on the rear spoiler there. Uh, nice tampos, the gold and the maroon go very well together. Nice choice by doing the wheels in like a gold copper color. More like copper. Really looks good. This is a really cool looking casting overall. No tampos for headlights and I don't even think the thing has tail lights to be honest with you. Um, and I'm not even sure if it would have had headlights as being a race car or channel chopped and sectioned it looks like. <laughs> so anyways, very cool little car. Uh, then we have a brand new casting. This is your GMC Hummer EV, the electric Hummer. Um, so pretty cool looking casting. We were going to grab a couple of them, but we just opted to get the one and leave the others for someone else. The only one I grabbed doubles of was the pink gasser because I'm going to save one. In Ethan's box of Hot Wheels to save, I guess you could say. So anyways, um, this one though is pretty cool. Later on we may pick up another one, don't know. Maybe they'll do a recolor this year. Uh, so let's get him ripped open and take a look at him, Ethan, because this one has some really nice details yeah, to it. Really nice. yeah, yeah, really nice details, huh? What car? Yeah? Alright, thank Three you. Cars. Yeah. Yeah, this one's actually very nicely done. Um, it has... Hold on one second. Here, 
let's save those. We'll get them with somebody doing a melon. Melon. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh, here is the Hummer. The front detail is very nice. The headlights, the grill, and it has side mirrors molded into the casting, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure I'm a fan of the what they got going on with the roof, but that's from the factory. That ain't nothing to do with Hot Wheels. But, yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's got, like, a target top and T-tops in the back, it looks like. Pretty wild. And then, tail light tampos, Hummer across the tailgate, third brake light. Everything looks good. Even the wheels with the bead locks on them look really good. Nice choice for this truck. So, really cool-looking truck. Um, then, we have... Oh, I'm not doing so good. We're both Butterfingers today, me and Ethan. We have the Mazda RX-3. This is usually a cool one in the premium set, but this is the first time I got a chance to grab one as a mainline. So, pretty cool. Yeah, first appeared in JH1 uh, as in purple with the four spokes in the premium lineup. But cool to see it as a mainline car, too. So, let's get him open. Yeah, it's a mainline. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Cool car. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like a black, I thought it was green, but it's black and it has green striping with a yellow insert tampo. Uh, it has the cage and everything. They didn't take that out. Cage across the back window anyways. Uh, nice wide body look. Big front chin spoiler. Pretty cool looking little car. No headlight tampos and no tail light tampos, unfortunately. But even the premium JH1 was lacking these details, too. So, anyways, a uh, nice little car to have in Ethan's collection. So, next one is the latest release of the TV series Batmobile. The 66 TV Batmobile. Uh, so, anyways, uh, looks pretty good in the matte black. Also has these, like, retro slots that are oh, from the cool classics. Yeah, it is black. Pretty cool, huh? I like what they got going on with the red stripes and such. Red yeah, so let's get him ripped open and take a look at him. Yeah. yeah. Alright, thank you. Yeah, it is black. I guess it's not a satin black. After I got it out of the package, it's gloss. Gloss? Yeah, it's a gloss black. Gloss with, black? Yeah, with the red, red. scallops, I guess. And, yeah, and the bat emblem on the door. Door? Yeah. So, pretty cool. This is always Wait. a cool one to have. We have one from 2019 release or 2020 release. Now we got, got this two. one. Yeah, you got two of them now. You're right. The tuned one is still my favorite. So, another reappearance is the 70 Dodge Charger. Dodge from Yeah, from Fast and Furious. The four-wheel drive one. And the, when it was... Drive yeah, it, when it was first released as a mainline, it had mainline. two... Uh, types of wheels on it. This is the rare version with the bead locks, I believe. And I could never find that one. And I don't know if they were like factory customs or whatever they were, but they were very hard to find wheel variant. So kind of cool to see it with these wheels on it. So what do you think, Ethan? Pretty cool? Pretty cool. Yeah, you got a four wheel drive charger. So let's get him out and take a look at him. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, thank you. Cool. Got Walmart. Yeah, you got it at Walmart. You were right. So, has the trap door opened on the roof? Trap door. Yeah, so they can escape out of it quickly. Down. Yeah, see how it's wide, widened like a wide body four by four. Wide body. Yeah, you got your spare tires there. Tire thing. Yeah, brush guard, push bar, whatever you'd like to push call bar. it. And the exhaust cutouts and the fenders. Really nice detailed Ethan. casting. I do dig this one. Glad we got one for Ethan. Ethan. Yeah, that was the only one in that case I seen. So the one charger, and then this is another one that was only one in the case that I could tell. Was the Kit Super Pursuit Mode. And this is the first time I've seen this in the main line. Never seen it before. Actually, I dig these wheels that they have on this... Yeah, because they look like the actual will of the 
of the original car uh, the, from the TV series. It's like a black disc with the chrome trim ring, so they look pretty cool. Um, so let's get him ripped open and take a look at him. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, as far as I can remember, I think there's only one uh, Fast and Furious Charger, one Knight Rider Super Pursuit Mode, and one RX-3, what I can recall, but I'm not 100% sure on the RX-3, but the Knight Rider and the Charger, I would say that's probably accurate, but as you can see, taking a look at these wheels, they look really good. I actually like this better than the Retro Entertainment one somewhat. And that actually looks pretty good for mainline. Yeah, it does, don't it, buddy? Yeah, and nice details on the headlight, headlights, the night plate. So, not bad at all. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Check that one out. That is pretty cool, huh? It's like a. Yeah. Yeah, so the next one is another uh, one that is one of the Rio's. Ryo's uh, choices, and this is the custom 70 Honda N600, and I'm anticipating the RLC S2000 coming up on Tuesday. I hope I can get one of those uh, for Ryo's rides, so hopefully we'll get that one for our collection. So this little custom Honda N600, let's get him ripped open. He looks like a Mini Cooper. Yeah, there you go. All right. Right side. Yeah, right side. You're right. Here you go. Two cars. Yeah, you got two more left after this one. Get more. Yeah, you'll probably get more. You're right. Get more. All right. So this one is really nicely detailed. This has all of your headlight, marker light, grill emblems, even the Honda emblem. I shouldn't say grill emblem. I should just say grill with the Honda emblem. Headlights, marker lights, chrome bumpers. Nice tail light tampos, Honda emblem above the plate, the plate, license plate, or bumper sticker, or whatever that may be. That is actually really, really cool. This is a nice little casting. Very nicely detailed. Nice detail. Yeah. It's a really nice little car. So, this is one that we've missed a couple times. I didn't get the blue one with the wood grain, so I figured I'd go ahead and get this one today, or yesterday, at Walmart. This is your Volkswagen Beetle with the wood grain sides. It's available in blue, and I think Target did a red one also. So, not a bad looking little car. It also has those retro slots on it, so do dig those wheels. So, let's, yeah, let's get him ripped open and take a look at him, Ethan. Yep, there you go, rip him open. <clears throat> Can you call yeah, thank you. So this is pretty cool. It actually has the headlights cut out on it where the headlights are chrome. It's part of the base, I believe. Uh, then turning it around, no tail light tampos, unfortunately. But it does have the wood grain side tampos. So not a bad looking little car. Not bad car. Yeah, Ethan has the Love Bug Herbie in his collection, so that'll go nice with it. Good Last time. but not least is the second color of the 55 Chevy. This actually I like more than the blue one. Uh, but if we could find the blue one, we'll still get it. But we missed that first couple cases. So we picked this one up and glad that we did. It is a very nice looking car. So let's get him ripped out and take a look at him. There you go, Ethan. Finish ripping him out of that package. All right. Thank you, buddy. All right. So, this is nicely detailed, too. Headlight tampos. Even has the Chevy badge across the front of the hood. A little bit big, but it looks good, though. Better than not having it at all. All the side trim is there. The door handles. The Bel Air on the quarter. And I can't really tell if it's different color red i don't think it is so they did lack on tail light tampos but still nice looking casting dig this one a lot so pretty cool 55 we got two 55s in this lineup today so this is the 
10 cars, I believe, 3, 6, 9, yeah, 10 cars that we bought. We bought 11, but as I said, the 11th one is a double of our pink gasser. So that's it for today, guys. We will have another box from DHL coming from the Philippines done box probably by next weekend. And if you guys are looking for the Legends Tour Mustang, I have them coming. I have a boatload of them coming. I've already sold 26. I have 54 more coming. They will be here next weekend. Then I have another 20 coming after that. So if you guys are looking for them and you can't make the Legends Tour, let me know. I will have them for sale. So, thanks for watching, guys. Say bye, Ethan. Bye. Bye, bye guys.